So what I've got here is the newest edition of the shop. I've got a Mitsutoyu Digimatic 500-171 caliper with data output, SPC data output. And I've got this Mitsutoyu SDD1E. I think dates from about the late 90s or maybe uh, early 2000s. Not sure, but it's been long discontinued. But I bought it off eBay for about 70 bucks. Again, not knowing if it worked or what. But uh, it came with the cable and it came with the adapter. And lo and behold, it works like a charm. It's fantastic. So the really neat thing about that is you'll notice it displays whatever the caliper displays. And uh, if I zero out the caliper, it'll also reflect that zero on the display there. And then I can always go back and go back into absolute mode just like normal. Except now it displays it on the big uh, LED screen there. I can also zero out the unit independently of the caliper which is kind of neat, because let's say I wanted to go maybe down, you know, a couple thousandths from whatever this number is here, you know, and so then I could essentially keep watching my display here and then see how many up or down I've gone since then. And then I can zero it out again if I want to, or if I want to then just reset it and resync it, turn it off, turn it on, and I'm back to where it's in sync. This will be great, so when I'm taking odd measurements on the actual lathe and I can't see the screen, I can still see it over there on the digital readout, which is pretty neat. Now, uh, this digital readout should also work with my other SPC um, micrometer. I don't have the right cable for it, but I've seen a reason why it shouldn't work, according to all the documentation I found. So maybe I'll do that, but this is pretty neat. I think for the time being, though, this, this caliper will just kind of live up in here. My other one will be probably relegated to the bench. And this one does not have data output. So this guy will basically be over here. And so this way, I don't have to go running back and forth with my same caliper, trying to take measurements from parts that I've already finished with versus parts that I'm still working on and are still chucked up in the lathe. So there we go. Last update here, I've got a new storage cabinet. Pretty happy with that. Um, again, my Dymo labeler, really, really neat. So I found a place to put my annoying steady rests and things that uh, I could no longer fit inside of the Kennedy box. Uh, I got a new live center here. Some sharpening stones, which I've not yet used. Some indicator accessories, just random stuff in here. Uh, this will be a new bin for my parts uh, for the flashlight. I'm gonna get some dividers in here so it's a little more orderly. I have a box of X-Acto knives here, and then I've got some random stuff, which I think I'll have to address at some point. And because this is magnetic, or rather steel, it's got a great place for me to store my magnetic-based indicators when not in use. So that's an added bonus. Since I'm constantly having to reach for them and pull them out of drawers and stuff, now they can just live here, and they're out of harm's way and ready whenever I need them. So pretty happy with that. All right, thanks for watching.